Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday Night Is. I have no chat this evening. Uh-oh. Oh. I have no chat. <gasps> what's wrong? There's something missing. I just noticed I have no chat to follow along with what's going on in the magnificent world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night Is Music Night. And that was a little introduction to what we're going to have tonight. Now, I noticed as I was playing there, this is live as usual, and I noticed as I was playing there that the tuba... It's incredibly loud. Good heavens, it's awfully loud. So let's let's uh, go in here and let's go into the... Uh, there it is. Let's go into the... Oh, yes, it is. It's loud. Look at that. We don't want that. So let's take that down a little bit. Down to... In fact, let's just go to reset. That's a bit better. Let's go to the other... Hold on a minute. I've got close. I've got main. I've got all sorts of things. Mm. That's all close. Let's go to main and get rid of the tuba. Oh my goodness, that's very hot. Yeah, that's a bit better. And let's do it at the rear as well. Oh, we have to do it at the rear as well. <clears throat> right, there we are. Front, middle and... That's better. Yes, that's better. Right, let's... Get, get away. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, and let's save those settings before I forget to do that. Click. Right, anyway, once again, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Friday Night is Hellishly Loud Organ Music Night. And that, at the beginning, that was an introduction to tonight's program. My goodness, we're doing some summary things tonight. It's very summary, it's very warm. And um, we even had our first little sort of little... Um, We've had our first little fire in the village because of all the, the, the dryness out there. All the fields and the woods around here are very dry. And we had a little, a little fire today. It was put out within minutes, thankfully. But uh, I know there are many parts of the world suffering from, you know, forest fires and fields going on fire after, the, um, after harvest time and things like that. Everything's so dry. And we had our first taste of that here in this part of Germany today. I mean, I'm talking a tiny little, nothing, nothing serious at all. Nobody was involved and it was just literally sort of, I don't know, about 10 feet of um, very, very dry grass that sort of burnt. I suppose somebody just let a cigarette fall as they were walking past. It's a shame that people can't think about these things when they do it. But yes, unfortunately, that happened this evening. So yes, so it's a very hot, warm, sticky, summery night tonight. And oh my goodness, have we got a summary program for you. As usual, we will be taking spontaneous requests. I think Vanessa is in charge of the chat there. I had a pinned message. Vanessa, you can unpin that if you want, my pinned message. If you have any spontaneous summary requests, we are more than happy to take them. And uh, we look forward to having you along. So good evening and welcome. And let's get going with a summertime blues. Yes, we have to do it at the beginning. For, I, I, I don't know if you noticed it while I was playing there, that a little bit of George Gershwin must appear at some point. And his most, one of his most famous compositions from Porgy and Bess, um, this is fizzy water with lime juice, it's not wine, I promise. Ah, that's coming later. <laughs> um, um, from Porgy and Bess, probably his most famous composition, one of his most famous compositions, Summer Time. I'm playing, by the way, the magnificent Mascioni organ in Alessandria tonight. So, Buonasera a Alessandria. And uh, it's a beautiful instrument. I haven't played it for a few weeks and I really have missed it. So, here we go. Summer Time.
Summertime by George Gershwin. Ah, wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. What beautiful music. It's, when you've got music that's been composed as perfectly as that, there's just, there's, there's nothing to stop you. And when you have a wonderful organ like this, there's nothing to stop you. It's amazing. Mm. Now we've had some amazing requests for tonight. And a lot of them are sort of as happy music, which I think is wonderful. Um, and um, not much of it is classical tonight, so we're going to have a sort of a happy summer night tonight. That's the idea. So we started the, with summertime. Now, my friend over in the UK, Mr. Jez M, and Jez is here tonight. Je is Jez here tonight? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jez is here tonight. And Jez, Jez reminded me in an email today, and I think this is wonderful. Thank you, Jez. Jez reminded me that the Commonwealth Games... If you don't know what the Commonwealth is, it used to be the British Empire. <laughs> and the British Empire obviously went out, of, went out of fashion, as it were, and they turned it into the Commonwealth. And it's basically a bunch of countries that the Queen presides over. There you are, simple as that. And um, the Commonwealth Games, it's sort of the... I suppose it used to be called the British Empire Games. Do we have anyone in the audience old enough to remember the British Empire Games? I could make a joke and say Graham Twist is old enough to remember, but that would be naughty because it's not true. Um, but yes, but the um, Empire the Empire Games... I need a better registration for this. Hmm, where are we going to do it? Actually, no, I don't think, think we will. Let's stick to this and we'll start the... Yes, the Commonwealth Games started, uh, was it yesterday? The other day, and... Um, and various British bands were performing, which I think is hilarious because hardly any of them actually live in the UK anymore, including this guy here. And this is a guy I actually have come across in the past. I met this guy a few times. Uh, uh, we played some music together with other, um, with other crazy people, and I thought he was absolutely wonderful. Very modest, very modest man, um, but an absolute spot-on talent when it comes to writing a good tune. And back in the 70s, back in the 70s, not only did he write a good tune, he had one of the best and most forward-looking bands of them all. The band in question was the Electric Light Orchestra, otherwise known as ELO. And their most famous hit of them all is a perfect summertime hit, Mr. Blue Sky, wonderful piece of music. I arranged this for choir many, many years ago, one of my choirs in Bonn at the time. I arranged this for choirs and I sent my arrangement to Jeff, Jeff Lynn from ELO. And Jeff was enamored that someone would, I, this is crazy, he was very enamored that someone would take music like that and arrange it for a choir. Uh, Jeff, like I said, is a very modest guy, an absolutely wonderful musician, brilliant piano player, brilliant guitarist, brilliant drummer, brilliant singer, brilliant composer, brilliant arranger, brilliant producer, you name it, he can do it. And he has the most amazing head of Bob Ross style hair. <laughs> Jeff Lynn, I'm a great fan of Jeff Lynn and definitely a great fan of ELO and definitely a fan of Mr. Blue Sky.
then it goes off and does that wonderful thing, a semitone higher. Ah, what a wonderful piece of happy music. Poor old Vanessa, was, I was singing along to that in the background. And poor Vanessa, looking at me in a funny way. Was that all right? She says yes. She says yes. That was Mr. Blue Sky, one of the happiest and most amazingly positive pieces of music of all time. Has it dawned on you that the music of today tends to be a bit sort of yeah and the music of yesteryear was much more positive and happy yeah that's what music's all about music is there to touch our emotions and make us happy and someone like jeff jeff lynn is one of the best oh wow we can definitely do that take a little trip to brazil chunk 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 shall we do it now Yes, I have something from Rajbaj. Yes, I have it. Have Yes, that can we make. Yes, okay. No. Why not? Because it's not not official for all. Ah, sorry, we were we were talking at different things there. Sorry, I thought Vanessa was talking about something. Oh, no, that's been to show me that, uh, What's wrong? Uh oh, ooh. What's what's going on here? What's going on? It's kaputt. It's wobbly. We need to get some new cables. We need some new cables. Our overhead camera is dodgy. Sorry, yes, Mrs. G? Oh, definitely, yes. So, um, wer hat das denn gewünscht? Uh, viele. Yes? Give me some examples. Um, this is a spontaneous request von for... Mehreren, von, mehreren einfach. von hundreds of people, ja, including... Bodenseehorn. Bodenseehorn. Rien. Rien, what are you doing here? You should be on holiday. Yeah, Rien, <laughs> you should be on holiday with your family, not watching organ videos. While we're on the subject of holidays, this year, for the first time in three years, Mrs. Gartshaw and I are going to take a short holiday, but more on that later. Here's a piece of music requested by many. Ah, wonderful piece of music by Antonio Carlos Jobim. Actually, because he's Brazilian, you don't say Jobim, you say Jobim, but never mind. Um, so Antonio Carlos Jobim and the magnificent piece of music called The Girl From... Ipanema, which everybody loves playing and everyone gets the chords wrong. However, I shall try to get them right.
<gasps> the girl from Ipanema, tall and tan and young and lovely. The girl from Ipanema goes well walking, and when she passes each one, she passes goes. <sighs> mm. Yes, those were the days when you could write songs like that. Not allowed to anymore. It's not allowed. What a wonderful song there, isn't it? Um, a quick technical excursion. What I did there... What you've got to do when you're playing an organ, a church organ like this, and you're trying to play that kind of music, you've got to try to emulate the kind of music you're playing. So I'm doing the bass. Master mal pedal klein, bitte. Bitte? Einfach klein, dazu, ja. Okay, so I'm doing the pedal, you know, like that, and that's the bass, but we've got to try and get the shuk, 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 that chuk, 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 that kind of rhythm, yeah, you get from a shaker thing. So you can't do that on an organ, so you have to do the rhythm. got that going, that's a shaker, and I'm getting this sort of rhythm from the bass. But I'm playing the bass in two different rhythms. I'm playing an on-the-beat rhythm and an off-the-beat rhythm. On, off, on, off, get it? So, and that's the accompaniment, and then you get the melody, and you can do the melody however you want. I played it exactly as it's written there. Um, but what you have then, you get this wonderful sort of cross rhythm effect in the middle bit, where you've got this, these triplets. Oh, isn't that cool? Clever. Yeah? So you've got three going against four the whole time. Wow. And it gives you a, it gives you a very Latin rhythm and it's all done in the confines of a church organ where you would never expect it. So there you are. Homework for next week. Practice that. And you will be happy. The girl from Ipanema. Mwah. Wonderful stuff. We've had Mr. Blue Sky, we've had this, we've had... Time for something classical. Now, time for something classical. This was a request that actually came in last week and I didn't get round to playing it. I'm very sorry about that. This is a request for our friend Dominic. Is Dominic here tonight? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sehr gut. Dominic. Dominic, Dominic, Dominic. War nicht Dominic und gleich Wanderer gemeinsam unterwegs? Neulich. Can't remember. There was there was some kind of secret internal Gottschalk gang meeting going on from our train folks. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful old, very old German style hymn. Well, not a hymn. It's just a melody, really. It's sort of it's a folk tune, I think, actually. And the 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 sort of the the not the title, but the heading to this piece of music is um, Gottes Herrlichkeit in der Natur, God's Majesty in Nature, which is wonderful. And it's a great piece of music called Geh aus mein Herz und suche Freud, which doesn't mean go out and look for Sigmund Freud. It doesn't mean that, I don't think. It means out. It just means off you go my heart. So getting your heart to go and search for happiness. It's wonderful. It's positive. We're being positive tonight. I hope you don't mind. I love positivity, and I think the world needs a lot more of it. This, then, is an improvisation on Geh aus mein Herz und suche Freud dot for Dominic.
Did our hearts find happiness is a good question. That was a wonderful, wonderful old German melody. Geh aus mein Herz und suche Freude. Let's hope we found it. Thank you very much. That was a lovely request from Dominic. Thank you, Dominic, for that wonderful request. Shall we continue with that already? No, let's do this first of all. Is Joe here tonight? Yeah. Joe is here tonight. Joe is here tonight. Joe is here tonight, which means we get to play one of Joe's many requests. Joe sends us emails, lots of emails, with lots of wonderful requests. And he sent an email at the end of last week and asked, have you already played dot 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 this piece of music here? And no, we haven't yet. So I thought I'd dig it out for tonight. And it sort of fits rather wonderfully. You know what it's like. You fall in love and the world around you gets all lovey-dovey and something just goes bing. You know how that feels.
Time for some gospel music, and this is for Manfred L. Hey, the preacher, the preacher, and that, the preacher, is actually a piece of music by a piano guy called Horace Silver, but everybody thinks it's by Jimmy Smith, the Hammond organ guy. But I sort of played it in the Jimmy Smith Hammond organ style there, which is just great fun. 
Great fun indeed. So that was a request from Manfred, that was the preacher. Now Jez M thought it was, look for the bare necessities. It's a similar sort of melody at the beginning, that much is very true, but it's not the same, believe me. Actually, I've got bare necessities on the list for later, so who wants some bare necessities? Ooh. You have a mosaic point. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a request as well. And this is an, always a request from Vanessa as well. Are you enjoying yourselves, ladies and gentlemen? If yes, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you're really enjoying us, you can help us out. There's a PayPal link there. Vanessa's probably got, yes, she has. She's got it pinned there. You can help us out with a donation. A very kind donation. Thank you very much in advance for your donations. They all go towards keeping the channel and us alive. Um, and that's very, very kind of you indeed. Now, we had, uh, we had an interesting email or two um, over the last couple of weeks. People were writing to us and saying, we would like to send a slightly larger donation. So we're talking three figures and above. And... Um, would it be best to do it via PayPal or via the bank account? Well, the simple answer there is even internationally, you are better off if you want to send us, let's say, a one-off, a larger amount of cash, which is, of course, amazing. And thank you very much if you do. Um, and um, that would definitely be best via the direct bank account link. You will find details of the bank account in the um, description of the video down below or on any uh, recent video on the website, we've got it there. And it's all that, there was some guy from, a, someone from America wanted to send us some money, so we had to get the bank address and all that sort of thing. But all the codes and all the addresses and all that kind of thing, they're all there now. So that should work if you want to do that. And that's definitely the safest way if you want to send a little more than you might think. But, 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 but that's definitely, you know, a one-off kind of thing. So thank you very much indeed. Now, if you want to support us on a regular basis, then may I attract your attention to something called, to something called, Tuba. the Tuba membership of our Patreon page. Now, something rather special about Tuba membership, all Tuba and above members of our Patreon page, there you are, Vanessa's got a link there, um, receive extras, but the two bar members and above, they get an extra live concert once a month. And I'm telling you that now because the first Saturday of every month is going to be the two bar members live stream, live concert. So not tomorrow, that's the 30th of July, but next Saturday. Next Saturday, what's next Saturday? Is that the, what's that, the 6th or something? Yeah, that must be the 6th. Is that right? 6th, 7th. Eight, nine, yeah, that must be the 6th, that's right. Um, 6th of August, that will be our next uh, tuba concert. Now, uh, we did the first tuba concert at the beginning of July, and some of the members didn't get the link to it. Um, it was sent from the Garchor Gang email address, the one you have here, um, the gang at Garchor email address, and some people didn't get it. Some people didn't get it because it uh, landed in their spam folders or just deleted it, whatever. So this time, I will be sending it from my personal email address. Um, so it doesn't get mixed up. That's a Gmail address, so that should be slightly more, um, slightly more um, secure. That's the way I was trying to say it there. So if you're interested in that, check out the Patreon page. There are many different levels of membership. It doesn't have to be too bar. Um, there is a level above Tuba, by the way, which is um, called On Shamad, and that's sort of personal one-to-one -one tuition. And um, I have a number of online students now, and it's great. We've got a system here where I can, you know, I've got camera system, just like you have here in the live stream. I can use the cameras here and a different sort of audio system, and it all works via Zoom, that wonderful online um, sort of uh, meeting service. And it works. It works perfectly. So wonderful stuff. I'm going to do a video very soon with one of my, with one of my friends on how this works. And we're going to show you how it works. So this is rather exciting stuff. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for your help. PayPal is the normal way to do it if you're interested. Thank you very much. People who don't have PayPal, a lot of people don't trust PayPal. Um, it is actually safer than you think, but that's only my opinion. Um, there is the opportunity via the bank account. So thank you very much indeed for your help. We have a wonderful request. We have a spontaneous request. Yeah. Watch this. That's, uh,
let's have a look. Three, one, four, I beg your pardon. What's that? Oh, you did a screenshot for yeah. me. What the hell is that? Wow, what is it? It's so small, I can't read it. Where is my... Well, go and get my glasses, please, and then it might help. Downstairs, probably. Sorry. I don't know that my glasses will help, but it might. Good God. What is it? What is it? What is it? Can I... Can I oh. Okay, you go and get my glasses, please. Thank you very much indeed. And in, during that time, I shall play this request for Razbaz. Razbaz has uh, requested the most delightful piece of uh, chanson française, uh, or chanson français, sorry, it's not feminine. Um, and it's absolutely wonderful. Charles Trenet from the 1930s, with a wonderful piece of old French style swing. Um, absolutely magnificent, and you can really boot it on the organ as well, which makes it even more fun. It's called Menil Menton, and I have no idea what it's about, but it's, um, it's wonderful. There's actually there's some amazing recordings of it on YouTube as well, but it's a great fun tune, and it's so French. I love it. Menil Menton, Charles Trenet, and this is a request for Razbuzz. 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 How would you pronounce that in French? Razbuzz. Something like that. Anyway. <laughs>
Ponton, something to do with trains and stations. I read through the words earlier and it's something to do with trains and stations, but I have no idea what it's all about, really. Menil Montant, Charles Trenet, or Rasbaz. Ah, my glasses have arrived. Hurrah! Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I look like, intelligent. Ah, right, now, will this help is the question. I have no idea because it's still very far away and these are good for reading, but they're only good for reading here. Does this help? A farmer and a teacher, uh, I beg your pardon, naughty words in this, uh, and a preacher riding on a midnight bus bound for Mexico. One was headed for vacation, one for higher education, and two of them were searching for lost souls. That driver never ever saw the stop sign. Oh my goodness. And 18 wheelers can't stop on a dime. <coughs> there are three wooden crosses <laughs> on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them, heaven only knows. I guess it's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you when you go. This is amazing. The modern power of glasses. They help me read. However, I'm going to have to look like a turtle for this to get this to work. Let's see, this was for Marie. Who's Marie, I hear you ask. Marie is Mrs. Joe. So this is for Marie, and I hope you enjoy I don't know this piece. Of, do I know this piece? Of, I don't know how fast it is. I don't know anything about it. Hmm. I shall see what I can do.
I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, I hope that was the right kind of speed and the right kind of idea. Um, yeah, I like it. Three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Oh my goodness. What happened to the four? I only had one page of music there. There's something here called Coda, and it's missing from the other side. We can't find it, so I will never know what happened to the story. If you know the story, then do I let us know. Did I? Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is wonderful stuff. We're enjoying this very much. Now, a regular feature of our live stream. Sorry. Oh, uh, I've got something else for someone else tonight. Gleiswanderer machen wir am Sonntag. Gleiswanderer, ich habe ein unglaublich tolles Ding für dich. Das wollte ich heute Abend machen, aber du bist gestresst, habe ich gehört. Wir machen das am Sonntag und äh, das wird. Aber wir haben noch einen Fan von den Liedern hier. Mhm. Und? Also ich habe auch noch 202. Das machen wir heute Abend, Nummer 208. Now, I got a wonderful email from, uh, from a, a, a young chap who also loves these wonderful old books. And I think, was it last week or a couple of weeks ago, I said, I love it. There's something magical about these, about these tunes, which he thought was hilarious because the uh, people involved with these uh, books um, definitely don't agree with the world of magic, shall we say. So uh, me calling it magic is kind of, oh, oops. Um, but yes, you know how politically correct I am, so that's the end of that. And his request, this is for Jakub, this is for Jakub K, Jakub K, and his request was for one number 208, Ein Lied der Freude, a song of happiness, a song of joy, a song of joy, and he said it's great because it has a fanfare. <laughs> It's a brilliant fanfare, and if you remember back to the beginning of this evening's performance, I started with a tuba fanfare. We were building up to this. Hope you like it. Number 208.
Yeah, I like that a lot. Ta. Bitte, bitte, bitte. Ja, Sonntag, oder? Sonntag, 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 Sonntag. We have so much to do. So much to do and so little time in which to do it. What am I talking about? Here's one that we haven't had ever. That's not true. We had this when we did film music, I think. And this is an anonymous request. I wonder who this was for. It's a summer night concert, so we had to include summer nights. We had to. We had to. Do we have some more spontaneous stuff? What's that on top of the book? Was ist das darunter? Ah, das habe ich schon gespielt, oder? What's that in there? Ooh, la la. Oh, we did this recently. Who's this for? From Brady, a request from Brady. Hello, Brady. And this, this is a piece, we haven't played this for a long time, um, but it's wonderful. I think we need to, yes, we need to do something with it. This is completely different. So we've just had Greece, summer nights, and now we're going to have 
eine feste Burg. The great, the great, actually that works out quite well, because we had a sort of, we had a, we had a German folk tune earlier talking about freedom and joy, and now this is the sort of the, this is the Reformation, um, go out and find some, um, you know, go out and find some freedom <laughs> from the confines of the other lot.
Got a bit of the old overkill there. Yeah, a bit of distortion. It was so loud. A mighty fortress for Brady. Is Brady new? Yeah. Hello, Brady. You're new. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Garcho Gang. Say hi to Brady, everybody. Be nice to Brady. Let's say hi to Brady. How are we doing for time, Mrs. Garcho? It's 20, it's 10 to 12. 10 to 12, which means it's time for the moon to rise. Here's another, another one of those lovely old tunes. The moon has risen. Der Mond ist aufgegangen. A very old hymn. Listen to this. Now, the request for this piece of music was to turn it into something jazzy.
the moon has risen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's five to midnight, which means it's late, which means it's bedtime. Now, the Garchos have to get up at the crack of dawn tomorrow. Mrs. Garchow, poor Vanessa, is in exam season. Um, don't forget, Vanessa is at the tender age of... <coughs> A student again um, not again she started being a student at a very <coughs> age and um, student again. You've been young. you are young you're young compared to me but you're ancient compared to other students <laughs> Uh, that's true, that's true, that's true. Vanessa may be 10 years older than most of the students she studies with but she looks just as young, if not younger than they do. That was a compliment. That was a compliment. That was a, oh, we have a theory. Because? Is that true? Yeah. It might be. I've had a cup of tea from a new teacup. What's this? Good God, what on earth is that? What on earth is that? Heavens above, it's too late at night for that kind of thing. What on earth is it? I have no idea what that is. Good heavens, that's a lot of notes. Don't know it. Who's that for? That's a Tech Turtle geschickt. Ob das spielbar ist. Tech Turtle? No, it's not spielbar. <laughs> das ist nicht spielbar. Auf jeden Fall nicht spontan. Um, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we have to get up at the crack of dawn tomorrow. So we have to, I'm sorry, we have to play our final number for this evening. One, two, three. Oh, we have to play our final number for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, all together. Oh, sorry. Um, and yes, I promised it earlier on when I played The Preacher and Jez M thought I was playing it. But we're going to play it. The bare necessities of life will come to you. A very philosophical piece of music sung by Mr. Phil Harris and presented to the world in the 60s in that magnificent Disney film, The Jungle Book. A uh, kind of weird version of a book by Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling, it sounds like Sounds like someone, sounds like some kind of dessert you would eat. Could I have a portion of Rudyard Kipling, please? Anyway, um, The Jungle Book, yes, and um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful film. Probably my favourite Disney film, um, probably because actually it features Phil Harris and Louis Prima as the king of the swingers, the jungle VIP. But yes, it's um, Phil Harris who plays Baloo the Bear and sings The Bear Necessities of Life. Which, like I say, is just so important in this day and age where all around us the world is falling apart. But we somehow, the Gartshaw Gang, we somehow manage to keep things together and be happy and be positive, which is what life really is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming this evening. Thank you very much for your generous donation in advance. Or if you already have, thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday night. Now on Sunday night, we, have, we already have a lot of requests for Sunday night. So Sunday night's going to be a biggie. So do join us on Sunday night as well. For Sunday night is Organ Music Night. And uh, yes, until then, I wish you a pleasant weekend. And look forward to seeing you very soon. The bare necessities of life will come to you.